Hey there, everybody. Today I have another Veyer, and if everything worked out the way it was supposed to, you will be seeing this video the day these new R1 Ocean Racer chronographs drop. And what are these? These new models are a continuation of their R1 chronograph line, a retro-styled chronograph using the VK63 Mecha Quartz movement. The first one was more of a blocky cushion style case, and this one takes that iconic dive case, the liar lug case that Vayer has been using for years now, modeled after Omega watches and others, and now drops in a retro chrono dial with a 12 hour bezel, an all stainless steel case, and as usual, a choice of different straps, and the price will be $399. Let's check it out. These new chronos are actually a part of the new R1 collection series from Veyer, dropping on March 26th, which is hopefully the day that you are watching this video. If it is after, I apologize, but the watch got to me a little later than expected, and I had a vacation in between, and I had to work on it as much as possible before I left. Anyways, yes, there is a new R1 collection, and this Ocean Racer is a part of it, using the dive case, and then there is the R1 Rally Sport using their field style case. And then there's also a tactical version dubbed the Tactical Chrono. Now, since I don't have those in hand, I will leave a link down in the description so you can see all the info on those. So let's get back to this Ocean Racer. This model will be available in two sizes, much like Veyer does with their dive lineup, 42 and 38 millimeter. And like I said, I'm sure a bunch of bracelet and strap options. I have it here with the Oyster Link style bracelet, a Tropic Rubber and a tan nylon two piece strap, but more on the straps in a bit. The case and bezel, meaning the outer bezel, remains the same as the dive models from Veyer, so if you have one of the dive models like the D5 or D7 or the GMTs using this case, you will be very familiar with this case, this one being a 60 click instead of 120 click bezel, as the insert is a 12 hour, but this is still unidirectional as well. Instead of 200 meters, this case is only 100 meters water resistant, but you do still have a screw down crown, something I am glad to see. Being a VK63 chronograph, I'm sure many of you are familiar with it, but that large second hand is for the chrono seconds. Your six o'clock subdial is your running 60 seconds. The left one there by the nine is your 60 minutes, and the right is your 24 hour subdial with a day night two tone color combo. Now, when it comes to dial colors, you have a choice of this black with the cream champagne color accent or a cream dial. And I can't say, as I haven't seen the cream dial in person, but this black dial, the cream accents are not silver looking as they look in some of the website photos. Definitely more of that champagne color on the outer minute track and the subdials. In certain lighting, it almost has a very light greenish hue to it as well. The inspiration for these dials and chronographs are from a few different Hoyer models from the 70s, so very vintage and retro inspired, and I like the color combinations used here. It's cool and a funky look, and the dial is pretty free from text, with just the brand name, the water resistance down at the very bottom, and the word American Assembly, as yes, this collection is all assembled and regulated in the USA. The chrono functions just as you would expect this one to. Start with the top pusher, you can reset it immediately with the bottom pusher, or you can pause with the top and then reset with the bottom when needed. As it continues to go around, you'll see the minutes being tracked by the 60 minute counter. You'll notice there is no tachymeter anywhere on this chronograph and Veyer left this off intentionally, feeling that it is something not really used much anymore and to create a much cleaner look for this chronograph. Like I said, this case is one I have covered many times before. I will link a review or two to previous models I have reviewed with this case, either on screen or down in the description. But one thing I will point out is that this case is actually a touch thicker than the dive models, even though it has less water resistance. And I will assume this is due to the dial layout and movement but you're looking at 12.2 millimeters without the crystal and 13.3 with the crystal included. And if you look up the measurements of the three hand divers from Veyer, 
it's around 11.6 millimeters without the crystal. So we're not talking a massive difference here, but I thought I should point it out. Also, unlike a lot of the automatic models, this one has a solid case back, though I doubt any of us wanted to see the Mecco Quartz movement anyways. As usual, there will be quite a few strap choices, and Vayer sent me a few, and of the three on this model, I prefer the Tropic Rubber. It's not a fitted end strap, but the way it fits in the lugs, it kind of feels that way, as the rubber actually rubs up against the case, and in this instance, that's actually a good thing. It makes the strap stick out from the lugs a little, and it just wears well on the wrist like this. My wrist is 7.5 inches, or 19.05 centimeters, so with the 48 millimeter lug to lug and a little flare on the strap, this is no issue for me, and I think it wears and looks the best over the other straps and bracelet. The Oyster Link bracelet just doesn't vibe with me on this style of watch, in my opinion, and I'm not a big fan of this style of nylon straps, but again, that's all subjective. Their Jubilee bracelet, if offered for these, might look good, but I haven't seen that one. And of course, you can throw on any 20 millimeter strap, but all of these straps from Vayer have quick release pins for easy changing between them. This Vayer R1 Ocean Racer, which I have to say I'm not in love with that name, but I guess because they went with the dive case, they wanted to include that somewhat in the model name. But these R1 Chrono Collections are pretty cool. I like the dive case version, and I like that you can get it in two sizes, 42 and 38 millimeter. And if you prefer a 40 millimeter, well, look at that racing chrono using the field case. The colors are pretty funky on all of them, definitely have the vintage and retro vibes, and at $399 with sapphire crystals and being assembled in the United States, I would say these are pretty affordable. Let me know what you think of them and this new collection down in the comments. As usual, you can find a link to the Vayer website down in the description, as well as a link to my written article. Please make sure to check out some of my other review videos. I have them all linked in the description, and if you can, give us a like, share the video, and subscribe, and turn on notifications. This is Don Evans from Watch Report. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.